am Tina. In this channel, I teach CBSE 8th Math. Check out our videos on the playlist. Alright guys, now let's get into the video. So guys, let's read the question. Consider the following parallelograms. Find the values of unknown x, y, z. So guys, in this question we have a parallelogram here and we are going to be finding the value of x, y and z. So first we shall find the value for x. So how are we going to find it? So here you should know few uh, ideas, okay, like a formula. Let me show you guys. So these formulas are important for solving this, okay. Remember it, this formula. That is adjacent angles are supplementary opposite angles are equal and corresponding angles are equal remember this okay if you guys know this you can solve this question easily so in every question i'll be showing the key points like this so that it won't confuse you guys okay so now using this we are going to be solving this question so now let me put the first subdivision i'll take x as the first subdivision okay so what is this is there any connection to x of course we have one small connection that is x and 50 is having a connection what connection they are adjacent angles so if you guys don't know adjacent angles let me explain it okay so here there is a line okay and there are two angles meeting at a line like this and here also one so if two angles are there in the same line you guys can see it's in the same line right so if it is there like that it is a um, adjacent angle and in case if i have it like this this both are adjacent angle here also if i have a value all four all four it's adjacent angle okay so this is how like connecting each other so this both it's connecting in the same line it lies on the same line this if you see this lies on the same line this also lies on the same line so which is lying on the same line that is called as adjacent angle so what is the meaning here adjacent angles are supplementary supplementary means 180 degree okay i'll write it supplementary means 180 degree so now we shall solve this so in adjacent angle how we'll do is x plus 50 okay because here we have 50 i am taking x and 50 as adjacent angle because only i can take that i cannot take z because no value for z that's why so x plus 50 degree is equal to 180 degree so why 180 degree because adjacent angles value is 180 degree so when we add two numbers if we get 180 as the answer it is supplementary okay that is the concept so now we have to find the value of x so x is equal to 180 degree when 50 will go to the other side it will become minus so minus 50 degree so 180 minus 50 is 130 so x is equal to 130 degree okay so finally we found the value of x okay so this is the answer for the uh, x <laughs> like the value of x this is the value of the x okay once more i'll explain you guys about the adjacent angle if it is connecting like this so here you guys can see this both it's lying on the same line so if it is lying like that it is an adjacent angle so here no other angle is there that's why x and this here we will have a value right 1 that is not adjacent here we don't have the 1 that's why it's not adjacent okay so now we shall solve the uh, next subdivision that is y it's not like subdivision wise i'll take it as subdivision so that it will be easy okay so second subdivision we are going to be finding y okay so here there is another one concept so of course you guys can take the same method that is adjacent angles are supplementary here also you can take okay but another one easiest way is there so of course you guys know the value of x now right so using that we can find it let me show how so here we have x let me mark it out so here we have x 
So what is the opposite? What is there in the opposite side? Y. So remember this. Opposite angles are equal. So why did I do it in different step? You can also do the same step. The same step you can use. If you use this step, directly you will get the answer. No need to solve it again. Okay. So I can write x is equal to y which is equal to uh, 130 degree. Therefore, y is equal to 130 degree. So I will explain this. Okay. So here x value. So now we know the x value. So I will mark it out. So x value is 130 degree. So what is the opposite angle y? So we want the value of y. So instead of finding it, we can use the formula that is opposite angles are equal. So this is opposite. It's facing opposite sides, right? So both the values should be same. So here we have 130 degree. So here also it will become 130. That's the concept. So this is the answer for the second subdivision. So don't forget, okay, you should write how you took this. So here what is the concept? Opposite angles are equal. Just write it in a bracket, okay. I wrote it here, so I didn't write it here. Let me show how you have to write. Opposite angles are equal. So if you write it like this, it will be more easy to understand for you also. And in this lesson, it is compulsory to write like this. What method you have used? Because many methods are there. That's why. Okay. So now I am going to be finding the value of z. So now you guys might be wondering that I can easily find the value of z. Because here we have 50 and opposite I have z. So it will of course be easy. The z value is going to be 50. But that's wrong. Why is it wrong? I'll explain it. Okay. So here you guys can see. Let me mark it. So this is not opposite. Is it facing opposite opposite? Of course it's opposite. But it's not inside. 50 degrees inside. And Z is outside. So here we will have one value. Okay. We can create it by, by ourselves. So I can take this value as angle 1. Okay. So angle 1. So angle 1 can become as 50 degree. So inside. So this is little hard to understand. So I will explain it once more. Okay. So here we have 50 degree inside. So I will just draw it. So in this here we have 50 degree. And the this is blocking here. And there is some outer line. Okay. So here we have next value. Z. That is Z. So how can I take it? This is out of the box. Inside the box if it is there, I can take it as opposite angle. So now it is outside of the box. That's why I can't take it. So instead what I can do is here I can make another one value angle 1. Okay. So we can create it like this. So that it will become a linear pair. Okay. So what is a linear pair? In a line if two angles are like this. Here one angle, here one angle. Like here you guys can see. So I will mark it and show. So in this, this is a line and two angles are there here. So this is a linear pair. Okay, The same thing, the same format here it is there. So I can use linear pair formula. So let me use it. Okay. So the third subdivision, I will use a linear pair formula but actually you can use another method also i'll explain both the methods so it will be easy okay so this is another one point here it's not written okay i'll just show you guys so angle 1 plus z is equal to 180 degree and angle 1 value is 50 why is it 50 because inside this parallelogram we have angle 1 so now I can take opposite angle. This one is opposite angle because it is inside the box. So 50 degree and angle 1 is opposite opposite. So I can take angle 1's value as 50 degree plus z is equal to 180 degree. So now z is equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree. So z is equal to 130 degree. 
So finally we got the z value also. So here I'll write okay this is because of linear pair. So as I told I will show you guys another one method also. So another one method is going to be real easy. So or you can use this method that is corresponding angles are equal. So what is a corresponding angle? So I will explain it. So I will explain it here itself. So there is a line okay. It can be like anything. Not like that. Anything means it can it should be a straight line. That is compulsory okay. And two lines should be there like this. So one and two lines. Two parallel lines. And here if we have one angle and here also if we have one angle it is called as corresponding angle. So here it is up and here also it is top of the line above the line right the angle. So this is called as corresponding angle. So remember it okay. So now why did I explain this because I am going to show you guys another one method to solve this using corresponding angles. So here as I told there is a line going on. So let me extend the line. So think this is a long line okay. I made it as a long line. And here also this is a parallel line. You can extend the line. Try to extend with pencil okay. So here you guys should see that's why I am extending with pen. So now you guys can see there is a long line. And two parallel sides are there. And here what do you guys see? Here on top of the parallel line only x is there. And on top of the parallel line only z is also there. So what is this called as corresponding angle. So I can take the corresponding angle as equal value. What, is, what does that mean? It means that in corresponding angle it, the values are equal. So here in corresponding angle which value do I have now? Only x value. So x is 130 degree right. So z will also be 130 degree. No doubt in that okay. So I will write it. x is equal to y which is equal to 130 degree. I am sorry I wrote y here instead of z. I am sorry z okay. So x is equal to z which is equal to 130 degree. So finally z is equal to 130 degree. So how did this happen? Because of corresponding angle. Just write it like this model here. Okay. So because of corresponding angle I got it. So it is good to use corresponding angle. Both it is good. Okay. But if you use corresponding angle you will get the answer directly. That is I will explain once more. There are two parallel lines and if one line is like this and one angle is on top of the line and one more angle is also on top of the line. Which line am I mentioning? This line okay. This line and here also it is top of this line. So what do you guys see? Both are on the top. So this is called as corresponding angles. So finally we got the value for x, y and z. So you can use any one method. Both are right okay. So this is our answers. So finally we solved it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye. Bye.